word? Okay. Hi class, uh, my name is Carlos Franco and today I'd like to sh talk about uh, baking soda and acid ingredients when you're baking uh, muffins. So um, a little bit of history about baking soda. So in the 18, mid-1800s, 18, uh, around 1840 in Birmingham, there was a chemist named uh, Alfred Bird who had a wife who was allergic to uh, yeast. And she liked to bake, and, but she had this, this yeast aller, uh, allergenic, or allergy. And um, uh, Alfred basically was looking for an alternative to get that rising you know, from, from yeast fermentation that gets that rising in breads. And he came up with uh, baking soda. And baking soda is basically just sodium um, carbonate. And when you add heat to it, uh, you get this chemical reaction and CO2 comes out and the forms are like bubbles and this is what gives you that, that, that rise and that fluffy uh, finished bread when you're done baking. So here I have two muffins. Um, you can note the color on the right and the one on the left, how the right one is a lot darker than the one on the left. Um, this is because uh, the one on the left does not have the acid ingredient uh, buttermilk. So when you're baking, um, baking soda and using baking soda, baking soda has this bitter soapy uh, taste to it and it tastes really bad and when you don't add an acid to kind of mask that, that bitter flavor, uh, you get, a, you get a kind of this product here where it doesn't taste as good, it also doesn't look that great either. And so, yeah, so in, uh, acid ingredients when you're baking with baking sodas are important because they give you a color change and also they really affect the, the flavor and the finished product. Anyway, which one of these muffins is more appealing to you? The one on the left or the one on the right? Um, I have not taken a bite out of this. This is my first attempt at baking these muffins. But I do um, see the importance of the acid ingredients, ingredients when you're baking with baking soda. The one on the right looks a lot better than the one on the left. And uh, that's basically the major point for this video is that the acid ingredients make your product a lot better when you're using baking soda. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.